All right, guys, Tech Made Easy here, and listen, I just spent the last a couple of hours today. Uh, I picked up the Arlo Pro 3, and I'm going to explain what I what I got into uh, based off the title of this video. So, I love YouTube. I went on YouTube to try to figure out, you know, how why I'm having difficulty. Um, adding the Pro 3 camera system to the HomeKit, my Apple HomeKit, which is very new to me, and that's fine. I'm technical. I don't have a problem. Right, Brooklyn? Yeah. So I'll tell you what I went through. Um, I set up the Pro 3 and all of the cameras, and then I decided, okay, well, now that everything's set up, let me go ahead and add it to HomeKit. So... Everything says it's compatible on Apple's website. So if you go to Apple's HomeKit compatibility website, it says every Arlo camera, Pro, Pro 2, Pro 3, and Ultra are compatible with HomeKit. So I'm like, okay, that's wonderful. So I set up the Pro 3, and then I went to find instructions on how to add this to HomeKit. I went to Arlo's website, and they have two options. One is you either scan a code, which there's no codes on the box for the Pro 3. There's no codes on the bottom of the base station for the Pro 3, the one that comes with it. This is the, uh, the uh, I'm over here looking at it, the VMB4540, okay? So no codes, nothing to scan, all right? I even tried scanning it, nothing worked. Then I go on the internet and I find out that someone says you have to have the older base station. You know, and that's the thing that's good and bad about the internet. So I went and connected the older base station. I deleted everything. Connected the older base station and connected at least one camera. They say you have to have at least one camera. And again, it's not there. Right? They tell you to go into your uh, iPhone and... Um, basically in the Arlo app, under the actual uh, base station settings, you're supposed to have a HomeKit option. Well, I just found out after being on hold for 40 some odd minutes with, with the Arlo team, it actually was almost an hour to be honest, okay? I got someone on the phone and we did this, we did that, we did the other thing, nothing worked. She said, all right, now I need to talk to my technical team. I'll be right back. She had my phone number, so she didn't have to call me back because nothing. We didn't get disconnected. She comes back on the phone, and she asks me if under privacy and HomeKit, if Arlo's enabled. And I'm like, what do you mean? There's nothing out there. Well, that's the issue, guys. So if you go into your settings, and I'm going to show you this on my phone. You go to your settings. And you go down to privacy. You've got to go down to, to privacy here. All right. Click on privacy. Go down to home kit. Click on home kit. Do you see now there's an Arlo? I actually checked that off. It wasn't on. All right. So under privacy and home kit, if you do not have it turned on, it won't show the actual option in, in the Arlo app. Okay, so I'm going to turn on Ecobee too. Why not? All right. So now when I go to privacy, and actually let me just switch to the, the Arlo app. I'm going to reload the Arlo app. All right. All right. Give me a second. Okay, now you go to settings on the bottom right on your iPhone. You go to my devices. You go to smart hub. And there is HomeKit setup. There's no barcode. There's nothing. So I hope this is going to help you if you've been trying to set up HomeKit, um, you know, and your Arlo cameras. Okay? I'm going to do that after I get off the, the camera with you guys. But listen, if this was helpful in any way or if you have more questions, first of all, thumbs up, please, because that really helps the channel. If this helps anybody, please share the video, forward the video. Um, you know, I'm still a small channel, so 
I ain't too proud to beg. Um, you guys probably know Brooklyn. If, if you know my channel, I always have Brooklyn on here. All right, this is Tech Made Easy, and we're always trying to help. We might not be the best or the perfect channel, but we're real. So guys, thumbs up again. Um, if you're a new subscriber, go ahead and hit the upper right-hand corner, hit Tech Made Easy, and uh, hit View Channel, hit Subscribe, and um, hit the bell on the right, and you will get notified of new videos. I hope this helped. You have a wonderful, wonderful day.